This is the FSUSD Family Tutorial for the Student Access Card. What is the Student Access Card? It is a partnership between FSUSD and Solano County Libraries where students can use their school ID number to check out print and digital materials at the public library. It gets you access to all digital content that includes ebooks and audiobooks, databases, one on one tutoring, and streaming content. It gets you access to up to three print books at a time. And it includes um, that there are no barriers such as overdue fines, it's not going to block a student from accessing materials. This is the slide with the video tutorial. So to get started, you're going to just do a simple Google search for Solano County Library. You will go to your account, which is in the upper right hand corner. And now you're going to log in and there are three parts to the login. So we're going to walk through all those parts so you understand what you're supposed to put in. When it asks for the library card number, you're going to type in the letters FSU plus the student ID number. So it would look like FSU123456. Um, at school, for all school purposes, students write S for student, S123456. That's not what we do for the student access card. It has to be FSU. For the password, it's the last name in all caps. So you can see here, all caps. For the phone, this is a four digit PIN number, not your actual phone number. And so for the student access card, it's going to be birth, month, and birthday. So for example, if your date of birth is July 1st, 2004, your birth month is going to be represented by 07, and your birthday is 01. So your PIN is 0701. If your date of birth is something like December 25th, then it's going to be 12 for December and then 25 for uh, the day. So this is what it would look like if you actually filled it out. You'd have FSU is your library ID number. Um, last name is your password in all caps and then 0701, uh, which is your birthday, birth, month, and day. Wait, you say, I have two last names. Now I'm confused. You got to follow these rules if you have two last names. So it's kind of a very, just a variation. You're going to include both last names. They're going to be all caps and you will put a space or a hyphen in between those names, depending on how you normally write it. So for Trina Garza Mendoza with just a space, the correct password is, as you can see here, Garza space Mendoza, all caps. If you have a hyphenated last name, such as Johan Marquis Zahir, you would type it all caps Marquis hyphen Zahir with no spaces, and that will get you in. So here's an example of what that would look like when you actually typed it into the login box. Okay, so that should get you in to uh, all of the resources that are available through Solano County Library. So this is acting as your student's library card. We have uh, just a little overview here of some of the available resources. And remember, this is all free. So first of all, you get access to books. And you would simply go to the homepage for Solano County Library, and then you'd see there where the, the arrow is pointing you can search the library catalog. And you're going to find print, ebooks, and audiobooks. For print books, right now, you place a hold and then you arrange, uh, you go through the whole process and you'll arrange and make an appointment for curbside pickup. We, I want to stress this, we have access to tutoring. So this is one on one tutoring. And uh, you would simply, it's under the teen section on the home page, click homework help. 
and then you would click got homework and this is free help online from real people real tutors in math science social studies and english grades 4 through 12 every day from 10 in the morning to 10 at night and it is available in both english and spanish so please try this out if your students are struggling or if you're a student and you are struggling please do not hesitate to access this helpline. However, if you want to move away from homework a little bit, we also have access to something more on the entertainment side. So we do have streaming content. And if you go under research on the homepage, you will click databases A to Z. And there are two resources that are streaming content. One is Canopy in there. Once you're in Canopy, you have the option to go for a kid's version as well as the uh, regular young adult, adult version. And this is literally tens of thousands of uh, movies. And, the, uh, and then the other one is Hoopla. And Hoopla includes movies, but it also has TV shows, um, music, audiobooks, ebooks, and comics. So there's a lot of different options to access in Hoopla. So I definitely encourage you to try them out. And just as an overview, these databases access things all of the world. So again, if you click databases A to Z, let's highlight some of the other resources that are available. Just for the little kids, we have ABC Mouse Learning Academy and the Tumble Book Library. Both of these are wonderful, fun, hands-on, interactive, uh, digital resources. If you are looking for more reading resources, they have Libby, which is the library, the Solano Library ebook and audiobook page. We have the California Digital Library, which includes small press and independent publishers. Maybe you like magazines. Um, we have whole digital editions of full color popular magazines um, through RB Digital. And then we have Books 24 7, which is a, a bunch of tech and IT videos and guides and help along those lines. So we do have some multi user books. So if a teacher wants every student to read the same book, they can find those in. Humble book or Hoopla, um, or maybe your whole family wants to read a book together. You can find multi-user books in these two places. For academics and homework, um, there is Mango, which is if you want to learn a language. These are language learning programs, have over 70 languages available. There is Explora on the bottom, which is a standard research database. If your student is doing any type of research assignment, homework, or having to write a paper, write an argument, they want to use Explora. Very similar to the databases we have on the school side, um, such as Gale and ProQuest. And then finally, I wanted to point out Learning Express Library because this is practice tests for SAT, for ACT, for AP tests. Um, as well as a whole bunch of other different options. Beyond academics, there are some amazing resources in these databases. There's an auto repair resource. We have two genealogy databases. There's an awesome uh, driver's ed resource where you can take practice tests. So if you've got a teen, Teen driver trying to get their permit. This is definitely a free resource that you want to use. For consumer reports, this is the gold standard. If you're thinking of purchasing anything that's going to cost more than $50, you want to look it up on consumer reports and see what the best buy is for your money. Um, I use it all the time. And then finally, the Legal Information Reference Center. This is just what it sounds like full text, how-to instructions, and thousands of forms. So maybe you want to change your name, or maybe you're um, transferring a title to a vehicle from one person to another. This will give you all the ins and outs. Finally, we have materials in Spanish. 
So for books, we have Libby and Hoopla. And for movies, we have Canopy and Hoopla. Our, our two movie databases, uh, our streaming content, are all also have a Spanish language cinema included in there. So I want to just stress that this is all free. All of this is free to you. You have any questions or problems logging in, please do not hesitate to reach out to Ask a Librarian or to your site librarian. We are happy to help. Thank you.